What is going on guys? Justin here with probably one of the top five biggest game hauls that I've ever had on this channel. Um, the sheer amount of games and systems that I came home with last night was just insane uh, to the point where I don't think I could have fit another box in my car and still legally driven home uh, with this stuff. And I'll give like the full summary of everything at the end of the video because I kind of want to get right into this here. But basically it was just, um, it was actually another local buyer or seller guy that just hooked me up with a really sweet deal. So Mike, dude, I don't know if you're going to watch this, but if you are, thank you so much for this amazing deal. Um, I'm going to kind of tackle this the same way that I tackled that 800 game haul um, that I had earlier in the summer where... Uh, last night as I was unpacking and trying to organize everything, I filmed individual clips of each lot that I got. And so I'm going to play those out on my computer, kind of just follow along. I'll throw the videos up for you guys and kind of talk over them and summarize what I got. So let's start this out with the biggest lot of stuff that I got. And in my opinion, the best lot, uh, the NES stuff. So let's take a look at the games that I got here. Uh, starting it out strong with the Mike Tyson's punch out on the top there. Now, of course, with big lots like this, you're going to get your fair share of run-of-the-mill titles, which I believe the majority of this second stack of games is. Um, but coming up to this third stack here, there's a Tecmo Super Bowl, which I haven't had in a while, um, along with a Donkey Kong 3. And then this last stack here has a plethora of Mario titles. And um, then I kind of laid some of the better stuff out in front here to showcase it. Um, there was this NES cleaning kit, which I'm going to show in more detail in just a second. A really nice Yoshi's Cookie, uh, Legend of Zelda, The Punisher, which I believe I needed for the collection. Chippendale Rescue Rangers, the first one. Um, I know that uh, some people saw the picture I posted on Facebook and thought it might be Rescue Rangers 2. Uh, it's not. It's just the uh, just the first one. Um, and there was also four complete systems, um, like complete with original cords, controllers. I think they might have even all had a zapper gun with them. And uh, here's that cleaning kit that I kind of wanted to show a little bit better here. Because it's kind of intriguing. Um, I've seen this cleaning kit before. Um, but you may have caught it in the video there, but I'll show it up close here. The front of it says Nintendo promotional offer, not for resale. And I'm very curious as to what this originally came with or what the promotional offer was. Um, if anybody knows, please drop a comment and let me know. I'm going to hang on to this because I think it's really cool. And again, I've never seen that before. So someone, please, if you know, let me know uh, what this might be. Um, so, I can actually give you guys semi-accurate prices for what I paid um, for each individual lot because that's kind of how we broke it up when I, we were figuring out um, well, I was figuring out what I was going to pay for it because he had way too much stuff for either of us to even throw out a number for everything all at once. So we kind of broke it up by system bundle and for all the NES stuff I paid I believe $330 which is a crap ton of money but if you think about what I got um, it's actually a pretty sweet deal. Um, four complete systems, all of which included like brand new 72 pin connectors. Um, one of them even had like a cracked door and I got like a door replacement for it so I gotta put that on there. Um, and then like 50 to 55 games I believe it was. Um, and I think it broke down to like 40-ish dollars a system and three dollars a game. Um, which, you know, for games like Double Dribble or like Hoops or Play Action Football or whatever, obviously isn't a great deal at $3, but when you factor in the titles like Punch-Out, um, you know, Tecmo Super Bowl, the Rescue Rangers, Zelda, all the Marios, like $3 a piece was actually a pretty solid deal. So, like I said, the NES stuff was definitely the biggest and probably the best lot that I got, but let's continue on here with the Super Nintendo stuff. So the Super Nintendo stuff was a much smaller lot, for sure. Um, and nothing too great on the games, at least in these two stacks, aside from that F-Zero and Paperboy 2. I think both these stacks were basically sports games. Um, but there was some better titles um, that I had displayed out front here. Uh, Mario All-Stars, The Ignition Factor, which is a little bit harder to find, uh, Donkey Kong Country, and a Super Mario World. And then a quick look at the system there. Um, the system was in really nice shape, too. It had uh, both original adapters, two original controllers, and I think for all the Super Nintendo stuff there, I paid $60. I think that's correct. 
which is a, I mean, a pretty solid deal given the condition of the system and some of those, those better titles out in front there. Um, but let's move on now to a much bigger lot, uh, all the handheld stuff that I got. So I believe I got four Game Boy systems with this deal. Um, this box original Game Boy, which is awesome. There was another original Game Boy in one of those cases, um, the Atomic Purple Game Boy Color, and this blue SP, which I can see a game in there. I believe it was Zelda Link to the Past, Four Swords. I must have forgot it was in there, otherwise I would have taken it out to show it here. But um, a couple of these I needed for my collection, The Simpsons and Star Saver. Um, uh, the rest of these I believe I have already, um, but there were some decent ones towards the end here. Uh, Mario Land 2, uh, there was a Kirby's Block Ball, Ren and Stimpy, uh, a couple copies of Zelda Link's Awakening, and some decent GBA stuff like Superstar Saga, never had that one before. Um, nothing too great on the DS stuff, uh, there was no DS system or anything, I just figured I would throw the rest of that handheld stuff <laughs> in at the end there. Um, but all in all, I think this was probably the best value, um, the best deal I got um, price-wise. Um, he sold all that to me for 60 bucks, all the handheld stuff, uh, which I, for four systems and I think just over 30 games, 35-ish games, was a really good deal. Um, I was really excited to get that box Game Boy system. Uh, I do have a box original Game Boy, but it was the one that it came in a bigger box, came bundled with like Tetris. Um, so I'll be adding that to the collection along with a couple of the original Game Boy games. Uh, this was kind of the deal too that broke the ice. Um, this was like the first bundle where he kind of threw out the price of 60 bucks and I was like, yeah, let's do it, you know. <laughs> it just kept uh, rolling from there. Um, so let's keep rolling ourselves here with, uh, I believe, the N64 stuff that was next. Taking a look at the N64 stuff here, uh, there's two systems. The one on the bottom had a jumper pack. And the top one there had one of those third-party expansion pack things. Uh, three controllers and a small stack of games. Uh, plenty of sports games, but <laughs> there were some better ones towards the end here. Uh, Vigilante 8, there's Turok 1 and 2, and then Pokemon Stadium and Super Mario 64, along with a stack of manuals. Uh, some of those manuals I didn't even get the games for. <laughs> like Looking at them now, I see a Mario Kart in there and uh, Donkey Kong 64. Um, there was also a brand new memory card, uh, it was performance brand, but it was brand new, and a transfer pack. Um, so this was one of the bundles that I actually threw out the initial price for. Um, I said 60 and he came back with 70 and I was like, sure, you know, 70 bucks for two complete systems. Um, they both had cords and controllers, which uh, they're kind of getting lost in the mountain of cables I have going on on the table right now. But they were both complete. Um, and some of the better titles, you know, Pokemon Stadium, which was crazy expensive for a while, like right after Pokemon Go came out. I don't know if anyone else caught that, but Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, and even Pokemon Snap just skyrocketed in price. I'm sure they've gone now, down now that, I don't know, the Pokemon Go craze seems like it's pretty much over. I haven't heard anything about it in a while. So, anyway, 70 bucks gets the thumbs up for me, and let's go GameCube. Now, not too much to look at in the way of GameCube, but there was two Indigo systems, a Zelda Wind Waker manual only, and four games, uh, The Sims Bustin' Out, Burnout, Top Gun, and Enter the Matrix, along with a couple memory cards. Um, I believe one of the systems had cords for it, um, but and the other one was just system only, and there was no controllers with it. Uh, so I wasn't crazy about needing to get the GameCube stuff, um, but he sold it all to me for like 25 bucks. So for that price, I really <laughs> couldn't turn it down. I mean, I don't have like a ton of GameCube controllers just lying around to pair with the systems, but I'll complete those eventually. And I don't think I need either of those four games, um, but I'll double check on that. Uh, but for 25 bucks, I, I couldn't walk away from that. So <laughs> let's move on to the uh, PlayStation stuff. So I got uh, four PlayStation systems with the deal. Uh, a PS2 Slim, a PS1 system, and two PS2 Fat systems. Uh, plenty of controllers, not exactly sure how many. And then this stack of games here, which was mostly PS1 games. Um, nothing too great, um, nothing I can see adding to my collection. Um, I don't collect for PS1 like I do for like Nintendo systems where if I don't have it, I'll keep it for the collection. I'm very selective about which PS1 games I'll keep for the collection and I don't think any of those um, make the cut. <laughs> but I got all this stuff pretty dirt cheap. I think that whole PS1 bundle, the PS1 system, and what looks to be like 
20, 25 PS1 games. Um, he sold that all to me for 20 bucks. And then the PS2 stuff, I think I gave him 20 bucks for the PS2 Slim and 10 each on the PS2 Fat Systems for a total of $60 for all the PlayStation stuff. Um, I just, this is another lot that I was kind of like, eh, do I really want to buy it? Because I've, I've bought so many PlayStation 2 systems, like from the garage sales and stuff this summer, that I'm just, I'm sick of seeing them. I'm sick of testing them. I'm just sick of everything about them. But, um, you know, for $10 each, it's like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so for 60 bucks, I got all the, uh, the PlayStation stuff there. And let's move on to, I think, the final lot that I have to show, um, the Xbox stuff. So I ran out of room on the kitchen table and had to move to the kitchen chairs here. Um, he actually threw in some Wii stuff with this Xbox stuff. <laughs> it's a 360 arcade system in the box. I'll explain more about that in a second. Um, there was an original Xbox system with a couple controllers and a few games. I think there was a Morrowind in one of those um, blank cases. And then another white 360 system with a couple controllers and a Kinect there. And of course you got to have your Disney High School Musical 3 Dance Senior Year bundle that I probably should have showed <laughs> in the last clip with the PlayStation stuff, but I forgot about it and wanted to make sure it got an appearance in this video because that was kind of the laughing joke the whole time I was there, how I was going to get that for free if I bought everything. Um, anyway though, the 360 Arcade, he told me um, there's a different system in that box. It's still a 360 system, he said, but it's not the one that originally came in that box. So I haven't even opened it up yet. Maybe it's another PS2 Fat. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to do that after the video. Um, and I was really trying to stay away from this Xbox stuff, and he knew that. You know, I've bought a total of, I think, like four 360 systems this summer between the garage sales and Craigslist, and zero of them have worked. Straight bagels on the 360 systems for me this summer. Uh, so I And I told him that, and he was like, all right, well, how about 30 bucks for all of it? And I was just like, eh. It was hard to walk away from, you know? He was gonna throw in the Mario Kart, which is probably worth like, what, 20 of the $30 that I paid for all the Xbox stuff? So I mean, even if one of the systems works, I think I did all right on, on that bundle there. Um, and of course, I got the High School Musical. Can't go wrong. So in conclusion, my grand total for everything that I just showed, I'm going to put this number down here and then someone's going to fact check my math through the rest of the video and tell me that I'm wrong or something. <laughs> I might be wrong somewhere along the way, but I paid a grand total of $635 for everything, and that's a fact. Um, a crap ton of money, but a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not regretting this deal in the least uh, and I want to say thank you again to Mike for <laughs> hooking me up fat on this deal and the reason this deal though is so great is because um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video Mike is um, a local you know buyer and seller guy he's told me that he doesn't really collect video games you know he just likes buying and selling them so the majority of stuff in this video probably 90 percent of this stuff is all stuff that he's gotten this summer at you know the garage sales Craigslist, Facebook, all the same places I look. Uh, it's just stuff that he's either beaten me to or stuff that I didn't see or whatever the case might be. So I guess I really appreciate him giving me, uh, I guess, a second shot at all this stuff that I missed um, and obviously hooking me up with a phenomenal price. So thank you again to Mike for the awesome deal. Um, I don't know if I'm going to top this anytime soon. I, I've said that plenty of times this summer, but this was a an excellent end to the summer. Um, and I've got uh, plenty of work ahead of me trying to dig through all this stuff. So I'm going to get to that right now. Thank you guys for sticking around and checking out this video. And until next time, take care.